it's obvious I'm not a spring chicken when it comes to uh, getting close to retirement. And so my husband and I have been doing extensive research on what places would be great for us to retire in the United States. So with our research, we discovered there's three things that are super important to us. One is how affordable the houses are. Two is how high are the property taxes, wicked important. And three, how good is the healthcare? Some of these states are gonna surprise you because they totally surprised me. So let's go ahead and get on our reading glasses and start going over some numbers on why we picked some places. It won't be much of a surprise to many of you is Florida but it's number five for many reasons. For the economy, it's ranked 31st in the country. For crime and safety, it's ranked 27th. For lifestyle, it's, of course, it's gonna be ranked number one because there's a million things for retired people to do in Florida between golfing and swimming and the beaches. Not only that, Florida has communities that are completely dedicated just for people that are retired. Have you ever been out to the villages? Holy cow, that is completely one encapsulated whole town for just people that have retired. Years ago, I used to live out there and believe it or not, that used to be a manufactured home park. That's how it started. And that man built that whole empire. Now it's got healthcare facilities. It has, you know, restaurants and, and golfing and swimming and everything you could possibly imagine if you're wanting to retire to Florida. Definitely check out the villages. They're not sponsored by any means of the imagination, but it's a really cool place. But it's still number five on my list, mostly because it's kind of unaffordable. The cost of living is ranked at a 28 and housing affordability is a 42. Ooh, that's high. That's high on my list. I mean, you gotta remember, I'm only like ranking basically 50 states in the, you know, all the 50 states and that's like 42. I will say the property taxes in Florida made it so it was ranked 25th uh, as far as property taxes, but I don't know about you, I hate paying property taxes and I pay less in property taxes here in Louisiana than I did in Florida. And if anybody tries to tell you that, oh, well, you know, you pay more in property taxes in, you know, in Florida, but you know, you don't have state tax and it makes everything cheaper. I can tell you from personal experience, the utilities were more expensive. Everything was more expensive in Florida. When we moved to Louisiana, it was like, we got a pay raise. <laughs> now really high on our list was one of those states that I would have never in a million years even thought of until we started compiling this list. And it was Iowa of all places. Not only does it have a really good economy, the crime and safety is ranked number 13 in the country. Healthcare though, majorly important. It's ranked number three in the country. Wow, I would have never thought that. The cost of living is ranked number 13 in the country and housing affordability is ranked number one. The property taxes are a little high, but the cost of living there is still very low. And if you're looking for things to do, well, it's an unusual state when it comes to like recreation. I'm not gonna lie. I just looked on their website, um, you know, what to do in Iowa. And <laughs> it has it has the tallest gnome. I mean, like who wouldn't wanna see the tallest gnome in your retirement years? <laughs> but if you're anything like me and you're wanting to retire, I don't necessarily need to like travel the state. I just wanna be able to have a nice, healthy, place to stay and that's extremely affordable the weather in iowa well that's a little little different if you're trying to escape the snow well iowa may not be your your state <laughs> but if you're okay with a little bit of uh, the white stuff then you know retirement there looks good i'd be something to definitely check out the next one we're going to go to and hopefully i don't get demonetized for trying to sing but here it goes west virginia mountain mama take me home to retirement. <laughs> it's a great state. It has all sorts of great things as far as our ranking. So it was ranked number eight in economy. Crime and safety is ranked number 16. Lifestyle is ranked number six in the country. For healthcare though, this is where it gets a little, little. it's ranked 29th. So that it was a little, maybe you're just going to find an area that's going to be close to hospitals. West Virginia, as far as property taxes are concerned, is ranked number seventh in the country is affordability as far as property taxes. Cost of living, it's ranked 20th in the country and affordability is ranked a number eight. So if you're looking for an affordable place to set up your home, go ahead and look at West Virginia. Another thing, you know, cause I talk about affordable housing options like manufactured homes. West Virginia is a manufactured home friendly state like many other states like South Carolina. Is that who we're gonna go look at next? Nope. Arkansas. No, we're gonna be looking at Arkansas, the home state of Bill Clinton. And also to the beautiful Ozarks. Love that. Have you seen the show? It's really good. I made a choice. 
to move our family to a more peaceful place. I highly recommend it. The biggest disadvantage of living in Arkansas, the crime rates are kind of high. There's a lot to do in Arkansas. Like I said, mentioned before, you have the Ozarks and these places as well. Arkansas has plenty of state parks you can visit, like the Mount Magazine State Park and the Crater of Diamond State Park. If you're looking for something even more scenic, you can visit the Buffalo National River. And let's not forget about Hot Springs that's known for its healing waters. The great thing about Arkansas is that it does have low property taxes. Healthcare is very inexpensive and accessible. And the cost of living there is super cheap. So Arkansas is a great place to be looking at especially if you're thinking about doing something with a more affordable home options, like a manufactured home or a tiny home. They have a lot of unrestricted lots that will allow you for uh, tiny homes, and they also allow for manufactured homes. There's plenty of areas that will allow for that. So if you're wanting someplace warm and you wanna, don't wanna go up north and shovel snow, Arkansas does have a little bit of snow, just a little bit, but <laughs> Arkansas might be the state for you. This state is like my favorite state only because when I was a kid, it was one of the first states that I could spelled that had really long letters. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-S-I-P-P-P-I. -S 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 Mississippi. I love doing that as a kid. Well, Mississippi is ranked uh, really well on our list. It's number 18 um, as far as affordability, but there were some other factors as well. The property taxes, it was ranked 17th in the country. And so even though that seems a little bit high, it isn't that high. Also with Mississippi, they do allow for manufactured homes. There's plenty of areas that have beautiful manufactured home parks for retired people so definitely that's something you or if you're interested in you can check those out and the cost of living is so inexpensive that is like it's so so cheap so cheap to live in Mississippi. So, I mean, it's beautiful out there. I don't know if you've ever been out there. You don't have the snow problem as much. They do have their fair share of hurricanes, just like we do here in Louisiana. Of course, you've got the Southern flair, you know, everybody's friendly in the South. And there's plenty to do there in Mississippi as well, like this. Mississippi is known for its scenic spots like Jackson, Mississippi. Also known for its crafting, agriculture, and attractions like golf and sports. If you have family coming in town and you wanna to go to the great outdoors, there's plenty of campgrounds throughout Mississippi, but you can find many places that have music venues that play the blues and lots of places to eat that specialize in boiled crawfish, fried catfish, and baked macaroni and cheese. It's ranked number nine for its economy. The crime and safety is ranked a, oh, 24. It's like in the middle of the road. You can, you can be, it's meeting you halfway as far as their crime statistics. I feel terrible if I didn't mention the great state of Louisiana. It was ranked number 24 on our list as overall score um, of place to live. My parents actually lived in Florida and then they moved to Louisiana and they've enjoyed it here. There is a state income tax here in Louisiana, but our healthcare facilities have been fantastic. They have taken great care of my dad when he had cancer, not once, but twice in his lifetime. He had kidney cancer when he lived in Florida and then he had cancer here, lymphoma, when he moved here to Louisiana and he's done fantastic with the medical care that he's gotten here. His doctors have been amazing. So if Louisiana was on your list, you definitely wanna take a closer look at it. But I will say we do flood. I can tell you that from personal experience, South Louisiana is known for our flooding. Half the state is, is below sea fit level, just know that. So if you're thinking about moving here and building a house, just know that you're going to need flood insurance and know how to make a pot of gumbo, I'll teach you. <laughs> Now, a lot of people that are retiring, they do look at Texas because there is lots of plots of land in Texas that you can get for like super cheap. Did you know the average cost of a lot throughout the United States is about $3,000? And there's plenty of those lots in Texas. The thing is, is when you find cheaper land, you can't find a lot of other things like a hospital. That's important. <laughs> and the property taxes there are very, very high. Um, the cost of living has been average within the United States. And you're just gonna have to find the right city in Texas for you. For me, it, Texas is off the list completely. I've lived there once, never going back. Not to say anything bad about people that live in Texas. It has nothing to do with it. I just, I just, it wasn't for me. It wasn't my thing. <laughs> and it didn't make my list. But it, there was the overall score too. It was ranked 37th as far as economy, lifestyle, it was ranked 27th, healthcare is ranked 24th, and cost of living, it was ranked 12th. Home affordability though, it was ranked 27th. And if you go to Austin, Texas, or San Antonio, Texas, or Houston, Texas, those numbers have exploded. 
with this current housing market. Houses that used to be like 120,000 are now 175 to 180,000. And it just keeps going up because, you know, the housing market is going nuts. So which state surprised you the most that you would possibly retire to? Which one do you think Eddie and I should retire to? <laughs> That'd be another one. Why don't we tell you, I'm gonna go ahead and have this haircut and I'm gonna have this accent because I think this is what it goes with. If you wanna watch some of my videos, make sure you click this one right over here. My name is Christina Smolan, your real estate whisperer. And I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.